Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer request is from Lalo Martinez. Hi Cap, have you noticed that the JF-17 has a Mach cone effect when it goes supersonic? I noticed it recently and I hope more jets get this in the future. Very satisfying to see. I don't know, let's go and have a look. We've got a Jeff here, we're about to hit transonic and then go supersonic. <laughs> And there we have an official Mac cone effect on the JF-17. I had noticed this before, but I thought I noticed it on the Hornet. And then when I went to go and recheck it on the Hornet, it didn't work. And so I just assumed that I must be seeing things. But it turns out I must have seen it on the Jeff. And this must have come in a patch a few weeks ago. And we didn't notice it on the patch notes or they didn't put it in. But one way or another, we now have Mac cone effect on the JF-17. The JF-17 has a history of pushing the limits of DCS. It was the first one to have a working canopy fog and defog which is just looks really good i would love to explain to you how the physics work of a mat cone in fact let me have picture added here i've loved seeing the b1 at air displays especially the old 1990s air displays where they could go right over your head and right up to the sound barrier i have very distinct memories of them having this flashing shock wave as they went past sometimes much bigger sometimes the whole plane would disappear and it looked absolutely fantastic and the reason I can't explain how the Mac cone works is because I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to hand it over to you guys, the valued viewers, to please explain to me how and why we get this atmospheric Mac cone effect. Also, and possibly more interestingly, we get this effect on the GIF when we are supersonic. In fact, let me just go and double check that. Yes, we definitely get it when we're supersonic. When we've just gone supersonic, I'd say Mac 1.1. However, on the B1, you got it transonic. You got it Mac 0.96, I think they were allowed to go up to in the B1. And that's when they get the shot cone. So why does this aircraft create a Mac cone supersonic? And let's just assume that they've done it correctly. And another plane get the same type of effect, but transonic. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Let's just do it a few more times for the lol on power it only does it when accelerating it doesn't do it when deaccelerating is that realistic that'd be interesting to know you only get it in a range of about 10 knots so in this aircraft it's about 650 to about 660 and it's also got that realistic flashing effect ba, 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 ba. why does it flash like that surely it should be on or off and in real life they do kind of flash as well that's it I've checked the other aircraft in DCS. None of them are making Mac cones at the moment. Anything to add, RC? Nope. See you later.